Hi, I'm Hannah, a trained Liebscher and Rack therapist. You've been doing sports and now you have pain in your lower back. Don't worry, you are not alone. I'll show you how to get rid of it. Here we go. Stand in the marksman's position, right leg forward, left leg back. Very important, pull your belly button in. Then push your buttocks and whole pelvis forward until you feel the stretch in your groin towards your thighs. You may also feel it in your back. It is important that you do not feel any pain there and that you pull your belly button solidly towards your spine. We hold the whole thing for two minutes. And to intensify the stretch, we work with tension and relaxation. This means that you press your back leg firmly into the floor toward the front heel so that you have the diagonal component with you. We hold the whole thing for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And continue into the stretch. Keep the tension in the abdomen. And second round, press the back knee firmly into the floor towards the front heel. Two, one, release, and continue. Make sure you don't go into a hollow back and keep pulling your belly button towards your spine so you can perfectly benefit from the stretch. If this is uncomfortable for your knee, feel free to put a cushion or a blanket underneath just to cushion the whole thing a bit. All right, last round. Press firmly into the floor once more. Hold, three, two, one more, release. Upper body remains straight. We'll go straight into the next exercise. To do this, lean forward and grasp your left foot with your right hand. Pull your heel towards your buttocks and make sure that you push your pelvis towards the floor so that the left side of your groin goes towards the floor and that you feel a good stretch in the groin area, but also above your knee. It's also very important that you not go into a hollow back. Pull your belly button back towards your spine. first round. Grasp your foot as hard as you can in your hand. Three, two, one, release, and go further into the stretch. Pull the heel more towards the buttocks and also lower your groin towards the floor. All right, second round. Tighten firmly and hold. Three, two, one more. And strengthen again. Go further into the stretch. With the first two exercises, we stretch the hip flexors so your pelvis is free to return to its natural position. And with the last stretch, we take the tension out of the glutes and lower back. Last round. Press again as hard as you can with your foot into your hand and hold that. One last time. Release. And continue on one last time. Take a deep breath. You're almost there. Through stretching, we achieve high blood circulation. And blood circulation always means regeneration. What else happens through stretching is that the joints can return to their natural position. and release. Very good. We go straight into the next exercise. Come back a little bit and take your right foot forward. So it's about 90 degrees with the front foot or a little bit smaller. Important, pull the right side of your groin towards your right heel so that your pelvis is straight. You should feel the stretch in your buttock area on the right side, perhaps also in the back of the thigh. And we hold the stretch again for two minutes, again working with tension and relaxation. First round, 
Press your foot and knee as hard as you can into the floor and hold for 10 seconds. Release and continue. Continue by either adjusting the groin a little more, pulling towards the heel, or going down with the upper body diagonally towards the floor. Second round. Press the foot and knee into the floor as hard as you can. Press, press, press. Release and continue stretching again. If you want to increase the stretch, walk your upper body forward diagonally towards the foot. Feel free to hold the foot so that your hand does not slip backward. Third round. Once again, press your foot and knee firmly into the floor as hard as you can and hold. Two, one, and release. And one last time, go further into the stretch. Increase your stretch to your limit. Don't go over your 10. 10 means that mentally or physically, you start to strain against it. But it can be uncomfortable. All right, you're almost done. Okay, and release. Very, very good. We do the other side directly afterward. Come back into the marksman's position. Left leg is forward, right leg is behind. Belly button to the spine. And then push your pelvis far forward. Your stretch should be in the front of your groin, but you may also feel it a little towards the abdomen and thigh. Okay, first round. Press your back knee into the floor as hard as you can. Push the knee forward towards the heel so that you have the diagonal component with you. And continue into the stretch. Make sure you do not go into a hollow back. Keep pulling the belly button towards the spine and then push your pelvis forward. Watch your limit here, don't go over the 10. The stretch can be very intense. Next round, press your knee solidly into the floor. The force goes towards the heel and hold and release, push forward again. If you feel it's too much, don't worry, just back off a little. Last time, press your back knee into the floor as hard as you can. Push, push, push. Three, two, one. And one last time, go further into the stretch. To take some pressure off the knee, feel free to put a pillow under your knee to cushion it. You can then just leave the cushion there for the next exercise. slow release. We'll move directly into the next exercise. Support yourself on the floor with your right hand, grab your right leg with your left hand, and then push your groin towards the floor and pull your heel towards your butt. Watch your limit. First round, tension. Press your foot into your hand as hard as you can as if you were stretching your leg. Hold. Release and go further into the stretch. Make sure your pelvis is parallel. This means that you're pulling your groin towards the floor. Second round, press your foot firmly into your hand as if to stretch your leg. Be aware of your limit here as you add tension. Release and go further into the stretch. 
Pull the foot a little closer to the buttocks and lower the groin a little more. Third round, tighten the foot in the hand. And three, two, one, release. One time further into the stretch. You're almost there. Wonderful. And slowly release. Come back a little and take your left leg forward at about a 90 degree angle. If that doesn't work, no problem. Pull your foot closer so that your angle is smaller. Important again, right groin to left heel. So you really feel the stretch in the buttocks and thigh area. You can hold your foot with one hand so that it doesn't slip backward. First round, press your foot and knee into the floor as hard and evenly as you can. Three, two, one, release, and go further into the stretch. You can strengthen the stretch by either pulling your groin towards your foot or bending forward with your upper body further towards the foot. Second round, press your foot and knee equally firmly into the floor and hold. Three more, two, one, and continue into the stretch. Again, watch your limit. If you feel you can't hold the exercise anymore, back off a little bit and hold it the rest of the time with me. Last round. Press your foot and knee firmly into the floor once more. You're almost there. Press. And release. Go further into the stretch one last time. Very good, and come out slowly. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you're feeling good and your back is okay. Feel free to let us know how you're doing in the comments. For more videos about the back, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our channel, click here. Glad to have you here. See you next time.